I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Brahmins. Today is Thursday, May 5th, and we miss you the past couple of days. But ELA testing is over for most everybody. I don't know. I'm sure the freshman campus will tell us how their kids did. But we had all but 28 sophomores take finish up that ELA test uh, yesterday and Tuesday. So thank you, sophomores. Great turnout. There will be testing on campus again today as we wrap up the makeup groups. Um, Awards are tonight, guys, so don't forget, be here at 6 o'clock, a little bit earlier. We're going to start promptly. We have a lot of kids to recognize, and we look forward to all of you being here with your family. You should have received an email and a phone call if you were earning an award. If you didn't or you're just not sure, shoot me an email, and I'll help clear that up for you. Also, seniors and anybody else taking SAT on Saturday, a lot of you have asked, what time should I be here? Ms. Wagner said you need to be here at 745. That is this Saturday morning. So be here at 745 so you can take SAT. And lastly, don't forget, guys, that IRSC is here every Wednesday. They will be here again next Wednesday in the morning in guidance. Seniors, I would absolutely capitalize on this opportunity of them coming and visiting with us. They will help you sign up for the tuition-free program that they're offering to all of you. Um, I've heard it's somewhat of a lengthy application, but you have help. So if that's something you're struggling with, speak with your guidance counselor and you can they can help you get set up on Wednesday mornings to get that taken care of. And I lied. Lastly, for any aspiring nurses or people wanting to go into the medical field, we have a great opportunity from Rollerson Hospital. They are reopening their volunteer program, and they said it is an excellent way for students to obtain their community service hours or dip their toes into the healthcare setting to see if that's a career option they would like to pursue. Um, as we are approaching summer vacation, they're really hoping to recruit a few volunteers. Um, if it is something you're interested in, let me know. We have an application and I can get that to you or speak with myself, Ms. Tabbert, Mr. Stewart, any of us. So again, if you're needing community service hours or you might just be interested in a job in the medical field, this would be a really great opportunity to experience something different. Okay, that's all I have, Mr. Stewart. Hey there, good morning. So a couple things. Uh, did we mention that May 12th was the last day for tutorial. So make sure you realize that kids, May 12th, the last day for tutorial. So don't plan on coming anytime after that. There won't be any busing or any teachers. All right. So we want to shout out JROTC. They were recognized by the city council, I believe last week, or earlier this week for all of their community service Listen, that is a great group. They do a lot of work. So we want to give them a shout out. Congratulations to all you guys. And thank you for all that you do. And, and Ms. Gibson and uh, Mr. Locklear, thank you guys for handling that as well. You know, baseball went out on Tuesday and won their first uh, game of, of the uh, district. So they are on a good run right now to get uh, for their second game, which is tonight. But I want to go back to Tuesday. Tuesday night, Jacob Hardy, I believe, if, I hope I'm correct, he threw a one-hitter, if I remember, against Port St. Lucie. Had a fantastic game. It was a shutout. I think it was 7-0. to zero. And Brayson Cruz hit a home run. So congratulations, guys. You're on a good, uh, a good track right now. Let's do a good job tonight against, I think it's Suncoast. So also to the girls, softball, you guys are playing tonight as well. Want to give you a shout-out and wish you a lot of luck as you go into your districts. So I believe we have 30 or less students on our makeup list here at the freshman campus for testing, so that's not terrible either. Um, so thank you, uh, freshmen, for showing up for testing. We do have some small group testing going on today and tomorrow and makeups as well. So we're hoping to get that wrapped up by the end of the week. Um, if you are small group testing today and tomorrow, don't worry, we got you Friday for popsicles if you're here both days. So we'll take care of you then. Um, 
Also, awards um, awards for the freshman campus are separate from the high school. Um, we do our own little awards, and so students, don't worry. We haven't forgotten about you. Um, May 19th, and so we're finalizing those lists, and you will receive notification. And, of course, your parents will be able to come in as well. So that is upcoming for you. Um, the one at the high school is is lengthy, and so we try to do something a little bit separate so that we don't add to the to the night so we're not there for uh, multiple hours uh, beyond school day. So we'll get that done May 19th um, and more testing next week. You will get room assignments for math testing um, probably today, tomorrow, Monday. It is not necessarily the same as where you tested um, your writing and your reading. In fact, for most of you, it will be different because it's just alphabetical grouping. But plan to be here on campus Tuesday and Wednesday next week so we can complete your algebra and geometry EOC testing. Ms. Shirley? Thank you. All right. So a couple things for me today. One, um, I was actually here at the high school last night for the show choir concert. They did a great job. Um, it was very nice of them. They also had some third graders from South come. So my son got to sing too, and it was very cool. So great job to you guys. And thank you to the research for your great work with that. Um, also just to remind you students, because it's coming up, we do have our next PBIS day, our big one on May 20th. And a very important date you need to remember is Monday, May 9th. You cannot have any referrals from that date on. So um, it's very important that you're on your very, very best behavior, which shouldn't be hard for you. You're really great kids. So make sure that you continue to do your best. You're going to need 10 ramen bucks to attend. Um, so you're going to want to continue doing all those great things and earning those bucks. And remember, you're going to have other ramen bucks. If you have any extra, of course, which I'm sure many of you do, we're going to have drawings for different things like yearbooks, uh, t-shirts, gift cards, um, some pretty cool stuff. And we'll also have Kona ice there, uh, which is for additional costs. So you're going to want to make sure you have a few bucks for that. Other than that, just remember, uh, continue to do your best and best of luck to those of you that are still testing. All right, Brahmins, lots and lots of news in these announcements this morning. So re-listen to them if you need to. We threw a lot at you, but there's a lot going on. So we're going to wrap it up by just reminding you prom is Saturday. For those of you that have tickets and are bringing a guest, remember your guest has to come with you and they have to have their pass. And we will be checking these and the tickets at the door. So it's a little bit of a lengthy process, but it just makes sure that everybody that's supposed to be there gets in. And like Mr. Stewart was just showing you, you need to have your ID. So we look forward to that. And you guys have a really terrific Thursday as together we move forward. Be great. And be Brahmins. All day. All day. FFA members, mark your calendars. Tuesday, May 17th, will be our last meeting of the year. We will be discussing the upcoming banquet, state convention, and barn information for next year. Also, voting on upcoming officers. We hope to see you there.